Menorrhagia is excessive menstrual blood loss, uh, which uh, typically means uh, any amount of uh, blood loss that negatively impacts uh, the patient's quality of life. For example, uh, we have patients that uh, have to uh, buy uh, a lot of uh, uh, sanitary uh, uh, products. They have to stuff their glove compartment uh, in the car or have to plan meetings or work uh, around their menses uh, or they, they say they can uh, leave home. Uh, at the time of the menses. Uh, those are uh, perhaps the worst examples. Uh, but also, uh, if the bleeding persists uh, for any uh, period of time, anemia uh, can set in. And, and that has uh, also uh, significant uh, effects such as headaches, fatigue, uh, leg cramps, uh, etc. Uh, that would need to be uh, taken care of. We think it's an age-related issue uh, that women uh, typically uh, above the age of 40 uh, and before menopause at, at 51 uh, tend to have an imbalance of hormones uh, that tend to result uh, in uh, heavy uh, menstrual losses. Technically what we do is to uh, selectively aim to destroy the endometrium of the uterus while preserving the uterus itself. Now, uh, you have to be able to deliver some sort of energy uh, to cause that destruction. Uh, the simplest form of energy is just uh, using hot water, uh, either in a balloon or free-flowing hot water to destroy uh, this lining. Uh, you can also freeze it. You can use cryo cryotherapy uh, to destroy the lining, as well as use you know, various forms of other energies like microwave ablation uh, or radio frequency uh, ablation. But they all have the same effect, which is to uh, destroy the cells or the tissue uh, that constitute the lining of the uterus. And eventually, uh, that lining will be replaced by scar tissue and even though you still have the hormones being abnormal, uh, but uh, the uterus will not be able to respond like it did uh, before the ablation. Many, in many facilities across the country, people are beginning to do this actually in the office. Uh, but most patients will still require some sort of uh, a local anesthetic uh, with a mild sedative. Uh, at our institution, we prefer to use the ambulatory surgery center uh, where they have a very light anesthetic uh, and because the procedure is very short and very quick, takes, you know, getting in and out about 10 minutes, uh, we uh, uh, tend to use a very light anesthesia, and patients altogether will be in hospital for about an hour or two, and will be able to uh, get back to normal activities uh, by the evening of the surgery.